Bree back. Good to see you, Miss Cecilia. Whoa. Okay. Gimbal acting funny, but should be feeling better now. Okay, there we go. Now it's nice and moving nice. So they've listed some people tune in before the fun begins. We're here at my favorite spot. One of my favorite spots in New York City, the Queens Museum, where there's always weird art available. They have an interesting museum of capitalism over there, which I just walked through and it's pretty interesting. But more interesting is they have a photographer. His name is Bruce Davison, probably one of the best photographers in New York. I did not know he has an ex exhibition here at the museum. And that was really cool. I'm going to check it out a little bit more once I'm done doing the video here. But let's let people tune on in. And then we will commence. We're on the Wi-Fi here. Good to see you, Mr. Fox. Welcome. Evidently, this is a recreation of a house somewhere here in Queens. And I think I'm able to climb up it. I'm not sure. But <laughs> I'm not going to. And then they have a weird kind of fireplace thing over there made of TVs. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. But here we are, Queens Museum. You guys ready to see the world's largest architectural scale model? <laughs> because it's my favorite. Yay, we're back. Are you ready for this, Tracy? Are you ready for this? Welcome to the Queens Museum. But there's always weird art, like half half houses there. <laughs> yeah, you ready, Miss Cecilia? I would love to show you the galleries here, but you're not allowed to film inside the galleries. But there's definitely, there's always weird art here at Queens Museum, so. Come on out and check out the weird art. Because it's always awesome. But, all right, let's do it. I can't wait anymore. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Oh, it's an exit only. I got to go upstairs. Okay. Exit only. Let's make our way over to the panorama. There's a one way in and a one way out. Just like everything in these COVID times. So this is the gift shop slash cafe they have here and then we go up the stairs and we're gonna walk down the outside gallery here look at that house it's crazy it's crazy oh. gimbal's acting a little funny gonna have to recalibrate this gimbal because it's acting really weird. Queens is the most diverse borough and county in the United States. Some 273 different languages are spoken here. And it looks like they have an exhibition here on gentrification. All right, look at the Unisphere. Oh, can't see it. <laughs> okay. Let's go into the panorama. Is this Sinclair dinosaur around here? I know they're doing a food pantry. You got a little... Let's see, we're doing, they were giving out food earlier today. Had some kind of food pantry rocking. Giving out food to people. Okay, I gotta remember, this is a one way out here. This is a one way road here. I'm walking down, walking down the wrong way. Okay. Oh, I see how they want me to do this, okay. They want me to enter 
through another way, but I'm going to do it backwards. But this is visible storage. Here is a uniform from the 3940 fair. And then here is a model of the 1964 fair. New York State Pavilion, that's the building we're in right now. Unisphere, the fountain of the planets. Louis Armstrong Stadium, the United States Pavilion. Where's the, uh, here's Ford. Here's the Ford Skyway. That's the Queens Center of, that's the science. And where is, there it is. There it is, the General Electric, the General Electric Pavilion. And then here's the monorail, right? Super orange, right? Here's the monorail, this is the amusement area, the Florida and Hawaiian pavilions, the, Ant the water theater, the Vatican Pavilion, Astral Fountain. And then look at all these relics from the different world's fairs. And these always change, by the way. They always change these out. By that pond thingy, yep. Here it is. There's your great big beautiful tomorrow. And there's Dino. There's Dino. The plastic molds. The Sinclair Dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? They have other models of pavilions down here too. But now, we gotta we got we got go in there. We gotta go in there. They don't have the TV turned on, which is kinda, kinda sad. Here it is. Here it is. There's New York. Uh, no, no, what you saw, the plastic dinosaurs you just saw were plastic molds that you would buy here at the 64 Fair that you actually made. So this is the world's largest architectural scale model. The entire city of New York, all five boroughs, are here uh, made on 300 panels. It took a little over three years to make. My favorite part, my favorite part. Coming in for a landing. I'm gonna watch it take off again. <laughs> How cool is that? So, for every inch on the model is 100 feet in real life. So the Empire State Building is all of just 14 inches tall. And I'm only allowed to go one way here. So let me, let me get all the way down to the other end and then we'll just narrate going all the way around because I'm the only one in here right now, but I just want to make sure I follow the rules. We're just going to start from where they want me to start, and then I'm going to start um, describing stuff. So hopefully they have the day-night cycle going on. Uh, Amazon made a, a movie in this, and it, we're, we're going we're gonna to zoom in and everything. We're just, I just want to get to one side of it here, because you're only supposed to experience this one way. So 
I want to kind of go by the rules here, even though there's literally only me and four other people in here. I want to go by their rules. But, um... It's extremely accurate. And Robert Moses, the guy who commissioned this, he, he, he had final call about, you know, approving everything, so. But we're gonna start up here in Upper Manhattan at the George Washington Bridge. And I think the sun is going down, yes. So recently, about five years ago, they redid the lighting setup here in the panorama uh, to do what it originally did, which is cycle between day and night. So the lights are gonna slowly dim and the city lights are gonna come up. But this is, let's start zooming in here. George Washington Bridge. The neighborhoods of Washington Heights. What? This is Washington Heights. This is Inwood and Upper Manhattan. The Coisters, right there. That's a medie the, the medieval collection of the New York City Metropolitan Museum of Art. Bloody hell, what is up with this gimbal today? It's all messed up. Yep, it lights up. Where's Yankee Stadium? There's Yankee Stadium. Right there. Yankee Stadium. Looking at the Harlem River now, making our way south. Randall's Island is in the middle of the picture. Coming back into Manhattan, we're now in Harlem and Morningside Heights. And then coming into view is Central Park and the upper, the upper East and the Upper West Side. And then you see Manhattan, I mean, um, Midtown Manhattan, Empire State Building, and the original Twin Towers of the World Trade Center are still here in the model. The idea behind the Twin Towers right now is when the entire complex is complete, they will recreate, they, they actually already have computer printed out the, the, the new World Trade Center. Good to see you, Brian, welcome. But until the full World Trade Center is realized, they're not gonna replace it. The model was completely updated in 2002, 2003. So there are some buildings, some major buildings that are not here in the model, like 432 Park Avenue, uh, like a lot of the buildings along Billionaire's Row, a lot of the buildings that are in Long Island City are not in the model. The only building in the model is the City Corp Center right there. Today, there are a lot more buildings in downtown Manhattan, downtown Brooklyn and downtown uh, Long Island City, if you will. I know, I think the sun is setting. I think the sun is setting. It's getting a more of an orange glow to it. This is New Jersey. We don't see, we don't care about New Jersey, so we don't see New Jersey. Only the five boroughs are here in the model. So the original building pieces were made of wood, kind of like a balsa wood material. But the newer buildings, you can add a newer building onto the model you could adopt your building in the model here, but if you have a new model, they will laser, like they, they use a, a 3D printer and they print out a new uh, building for you. And, and it doesn't cost a lot, it costs like $50 if you wanna, if you wanna um, sponsor your apartment building. So it took three, about three and a half years to build and about 300 people, or about 350 people built it and it's like, like I said it's extremely accurate but we gotta watch the sunset the sun is I don't know if you guys could notice it's getting more and more orange now because the sun is setting but every the city as it was in 2002 is pretty much represented here that was the last major upgrade before that the last major upgrade was in 1997 and then before that, it was way back in 1964. But this comprises of 300 of these sections. So a section could come out and they could dust it off or clean it up. And they do dust it on a regular basis. Now, a long time ago, you were able, if you came out here in the 80s, 
you were able to put on little special booties on your feet and you could walk along the rivers, but people were destroying the bridges and whatnot. And look, look what's happening. The sun's going down. Amazon made a movie here. Amazon.com made a movie out here. And they paid for the restoration of the lighting. Good to see you, Jack. Welcome. Yeah, dusting it is uh, quite, quite, the, uh, quite the chore. So what you're gonna see now is mostly most of the parks. Good to see you, Ray, welcome. You can see all the parks light up here. So this was very much um, a celebration of all the parks and parkways that Robert Moses built during his time and also all the housing developments that he helped spearhead. So I'm in the Queens Museum of Art. I'm in the Queens Museum. And this is the panorama of New York City. Now, all the buildings that are lit up, they use black light. So there's little, there's little black lights all around here. And now we gotta move just, we gotta, let's go to Midtown. Welcome my dog, Indy. As we fly over Central Park, and every building is here. Every if it was if it was made in 1964 or later, it is here. Between 1964, 1997, or 2003, as those are the last two times they updated it. Your building is here. All the buildings are here. It is like Peter Pan the ride, just with a lot more detail. Exactly. That's exactly what this is like. We are now over Midtown. Oh yeah, Griff, we're gonna come out here, Griff. I brought Boozy Burger Bell out here. And look, there's Empire State Building. Phone's having just a little bit of a tough time here. And the gimbal is like all frozen up, what? Oh boy, the gimbal's all frozen up. There we go. Empire State Building is just about 14 inches tall. But if you never, if you always, if you've never seen the, um, the world, the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, I always say this is the best spot to come because you really get a good idea of how big the World Trade Center was. The detail is, is from fire maps. And Insu fire insurance maps. So that's where they got all the dimensions for all the the buildings and whatnot. Brooklyn Bridge to the right, Manhattan Bridge to the left, Lower Manhattan, and here's the original World Trade Center. Yeah, it's like a 90 minutes, a 90 second cycle, something like that. Bloody hell, I wish my gimbal wasn't all messed up. My gimbal's really messed up, and I don't know why. The Statue of Liberty is right down here. Statue of Liberty is barely uh, three inches tall. Remember, for every inch is 100 feet in real life. North from Lower Manhattan. There are your bridges. Let's go down to my neighborhood. Let's see my neighborhood here. I think I gotta walk over Staten Island. And then here's my neighborhood. Yay! Wonderland is the movie. That's right. Wonderland is the movie. And Wonderland helped pay for the for the redoing of the lighting set up here. So there's Verrazano Bridge. Staten Island, Coney Island. No, Jane's Carousel is not here. Jane's Carousel is not here. Actually, actually, no. It actually might be. Actually, come to think of it, because there is, there's Brooklyn Bridge Park. So yeah, Jane's Carousel, I think is. 
I think Jane's carousel is in there. I just gotta get that angle from the other side. Let's see. Yep, it's there. It's there. When, when, when they redid Brooklyn Bridge Park, they added it. So there it is. The little square of Jane's carousel. Right there. Yeah, they, they redid old Brooklyn Bridge Park. So they redid the whole park. The park was added to the panorama because the, the, the Jane's Carousel is re relatively young. Jane's Carousel is from, 20, uh, Jane's Carousel's from 2011. Relatively new, 2011. Go figure that one out. <laughs> Sand Island. So where I'm walking right now, there's a ramp that I'm walking on. This is where this, the, the simulated um, helicopter ride would, would travel along. And as you made your way around, the narrator would tell you what you're looking at. And he was more talking about like the highways and stuff like that and all the new, if you notice, when we get to Coney Island, I'll show you, you'll notice all of the housing developments are painted red and that was done on purpose to make them, to pick, to make them kind of pop out. Yeah, Jane's Carousel is pretty new. Jane's Carousel originally came here from Indiana, uh, from, sorry, from Ohio. Idora Park in Youngstown, Ohio. And that carousel was originally built in, uh, that carousel was originally built in 1920, uh, sorry, 1922, I think, or 27. Luna Park houses. YouTube's being wonky, yeah. Sheep said Bay, right there. Manhattan Beach. And what, the gimbal once again is locked up. The gimbal is really messed up. I don't know what's up with my gimbal today. All right, Sheep said Bay. There's a New York Aquarium and there's the amusement district. You can see the cyclone and the original Thunderbolt are still there. The big empty lot where MCU Stadium is, but you see the parachute jump is there. Abe Stark Arena or Abe Stark Rink. A lot of big empty lots because that's what it was like. 1922, there we go, 1922. Philadelphia Toboggan Company, number 61. 1922, thank you so much, Jim. And then we continue on to the Rockaways. So there's Sheepshead Bay, Marine Park, Bergen Beach. And that's Canarsie, Queens. And then way off in the distance, Starrett City. We'll make our way over here. John F. Kennedy Airport, JFK. Then this is all the Rockaways here. That's Far Rockaway, Rockaway Park, Neponset, and Bell Harbor. And then there's Reese Park. And then where I go to the beach, where I'm going to go tomorrow, is right there. That's Fort Tilden. And then this is Breezy Point right here. Rockaway Taco is right about, right about, no, further up, right about there. Right about there, just before the bridge, just before the Joseph Ababo Bridge. <laughs> In the middle, Prospect Park. This is Prospect Park, Greenwood Cemetery. This is the neighborhood of Sunset Park and Borough Park. Here's where I live, this is Bay Ridge. That park right there, Diker Beach Golf Course and Diker Beach Park. And then we come over here. This is Benson Hoist. And then the street going, this street right here, this is New Utrecht Avenue. This is Bath Beach. And then Gravesend. This is the Coney Island Rail Yard right there. That's still there. Ocean Parkway right here we take ocean parkway from coney island so that's the that little right, right there in the center of the screen that's the aquarium 
We gotta go, we gotta go up Ocean Parkway. Ocean Parkway, one of the first separated bike lanes in the United States, built in 1895. And that links Coney Island with Prospect Park. The neighborhood to the left of Prospect Park is Kensington and um, Park Slope. The neighborhood to the right is Flatbush and Flatlands and also Oceanside. Downtown Brooklyn, right here. Downtown Brooklyn and then Lower Manhattan, Brooklyn Bridge, Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge. These are twin, twin towers of the World Trade Center. We keep on going all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way up. You can see Empire State Building again, Central Park, Williamsburg Bridge, Queensboro 59th Street Bridge. Then way up there, you can see the Newtown Creek, which separates Brooklyn and Queens. And then toward the bottom of the, towards the bottom of the picture is Williamsburg and Greenpoint. Towards the top of the picture is, is uh, Long Island City, Queens. Um, what was that there? Um, Astoria, Queens is near the top of the picture. Amityville is in Long Island and is not a part of New York City. So underneath that wall beginning, and actually it's blacked out, is Nassau County. Nassau County is not a part of New York City. So Amityville will be out of the building. <laughs> would be nowhere near here. This is Floyd Bennett Field, New York City's first municipal airport. And then near the bottom there, Dead Horse Bay, where they found radioactive material recently. <laughs> and now we're directly above my beach. We're directly above my beach. I'm gonna go, that's where I'm going tomorrow. I'm gonna to go right there tomorrow. I'm gonna to go right there tomorrow. Gotta to ride my bike out there and go swimming. Yeah, anything that's outside of the five boroughs. I mean, I'm always, be, I'm always being, t you know, it drives me insane, Tracy. I, I, you know, there's a YouTuber, I'm not gonna mention his name, but there's a YouTuber who always mentions that he's in New York City. He's like live from New York City. No, he's in Nassau County. Big difference. I, Jim, come on, ride the bike with me, come on. Let's go for a swim. <laughs> I wanna go out there all day. Look at that view of the Twin Towers. See, if you ever wanted to get an idea of what the Twin Towers look like, this is the best place to go. Oh, tomorrow's gonna be a swimming in the ocean for two, two hours at least. Oh, you gotta work, okay. Oh, we're coming back into nighttime. Let's get here on the perch. Let's get here on this little glass perch here and watch the sunset and we'll start calling out. We're directly above John F. Kennedy Airport right now. But the sun is beginning to set again. So let's, let's, let's get this view here. We're now over Queens. Here's where, we are on the, here's where we are on the panorama. We're in that little rectangular building. You can see the unisphere shining right there and the fountain of planets. And the new city field was recreated and added to the model. But there is no Arthur Ashe um, Arthur Ashe Stadium, or pr pretty much the entire Billie Jean King complex is not here on the model. Yeah, they added haze to the sunset, as you see. So it's a little bit more orange than usual. <laughs> I never stood above an airport before, right? <laughs> oh, Lowell Thomas was the narrator. Lowell Thomas did these rep World's Fair reports when the 64 Fair was being built, and he narrates the helicopter ride uh, of, of this model here. And um, you could actually hear the recording. It is available online um, on the Queens Museum's website. So check it out. Look at the Twin Towers. That's the Twin Towers. Starting from the left, Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, and the bridges closest to us near the bottom, the Williamsburg Bridge. We go up the East River. There's the Newtown Creek, Brooklyn to the left-hand side, Queens to the right-hand side. The Queensboro 59th Street Bridge, also known as the Ed Koch Bridge. Oh, 
it's got the sun is going down the sun is going down <laughs> I don't use that terminology, Jack. <laughs> Tour guides that are not from New York City use that terminology. I don't like that terminology, BMW. How cool is this? <laughs> there it is. Happy nighttime. So, the Meadow Lakes... The big cemetery here, the Calvary uh, Cemetery, and a couple other named cemeteries along the Jackie Robinson Parkway right there. And actually, you can see how some of the parkways here are lit up because they're parkways. They're like parks. So we are, we are right there. That's where we're at. And then we look up towards the Bronx right up there. But all five boroughs in their entirety are represented here. But anything outside of the five boroughs is not. I'm the only one in here right now. I am the only one in here right now. This is right now, it is, it's always been suggested donation. So I always recommend give them a dollar, you know, but it is suggested donation and you do need a timed ticket to come here now um, because they, they limit capacity to 25%. So it's really easy to get tickets. Just go to their website and it's a ticket that you use here on your phone. And the, 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 the check-in process was really, really, really easy. But suggested donation. As the sun rises here in New York. Brooklyn Heights, downtown Brooklyn. Fort Greene in the shot right now. Fort Greene, that little park right there. That's Fort Greene Park. Then we make our way south. And then there's Prospect Park right there. And then there's my house. So I traveled from there on the subway and I came all the way up through there. And then I went over the Manhattan Bridge and then through, <coughs> through Manhattan. And then the tunnel went parallel with the 59th Street Bridge. And then I came out, then I was above land. Then I went up on the seven train, took the seven train all the way up where is the seven train seven trains right right there take that seven train all the way up to there <laughs> takes me about 90 minutes to get here so it's not a short train ride for me it's a pretty long train ride This is the outer part of Queens right here. And then Long Island is that little black part right there and that little black part right down there. <laughs> Coming in for a landing. I can literally stare at this thing for hours. When I was a kid, I remember the first time I, I came in here, I was just like, I couldn't speak. I was so amazed by it. And it was at a very formative time of my, of my life because I liked micro machines at the time. I was obsessed with micro machines. And when I saw this thing, I was like, oh, I wanna play with my micro machines in here. But of course, micro machines are too large for the scale. <laughs> Let's go back down to where we are. Flushing Meadows, Corona Park. Here we are. Right there. 
We can see your tent of tomorrow, your planet of the... Actually, we started our live stream before, right from the subway, right over there. The little plane is my favorite part, Tracy. The little plane is my favorite part. And it's, of course, on strings. And how it works is it comes down here, goes underneath LaGuardia, back up, and then it comes... Let's see if we can catch it. It comes all the way across from up here. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like all, I was all about micro machines when I was a kid. And I was in my micro machines phase when I came here. And it was all, I, I flipped out. I couldn't believe it. Sometimes they'll add pieces of art to the model. So the model has changed temporarily over the years. Let's follow the plane. Roosevelt Island is right there. There's Roosevelt Island right there. Between Manhattan. Between Manhattan and Queens. There's a little plane goes up. And up, and it's getting really pixelated now because we've got no light up there. There's a little wheel up there. And so we get lost in the light, but trust me, there's a little wheel up there. There's two planes. There's another plane coming in for a landing right now. But Queens, Roosevelt Island. Upper East, Upper West Sides, in the middle, Central Park. And then, finally, we come to our touching area. And this was recently added, but this gives you an idea of how tall the model buildings are. So here's the Empire State Building, and here's my hand. And you can see it's 14 inches, so it's just bigger than my hand. But this is how the buildings are, are created. Right, isn't it cool? And then there's the Bronx. Yankee Stadium. Then that's the, this is the new Yankee Stadium. They did, when they redid City Field, they did add the new Yankee Stadium also. So there's Yankee Stadium. But this is the Bronx. Right there. Right, isn't this cool? And there you have it the panorama of New York City. Come on out to the Queens Museum. There are plenty of reservations available. This may be the time to come out to a lot of museums here in New York City because everything's at 25% capacity. So you could, in this case, have the whole place to yourself. But my gimbal battery is about to die. So I'm gonna let my gimbal rest and I'm gonna take some Instagrams for you guys. But from the panorama of New York City, this is Dutch Ma signing off. Have a fantastic Queen's Day, whether you live here or not. I want you to hug your loved ones. I want you to cherish the moments. Good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I'll see you guys soon, folks. Bye-bye.